Hello guys, today we will talk about high vapor pressure cargo on tanker. I will give you some introduction and precaution of high vapor crude. Introduction. What is vaporization tendency? The tendency of vaporization of petroleum is represented by vapor pressure, which is mainly determined by the boiling points of its components and the temperature at the time. So what is high vapor pressure crude? With the increase of components with low boiling and rise the temperature, vapor pressure rises. Such crude generally with rate vapor pressure, RVP, exciting 0.315 kg per square centimeter, that is 4.5 psi, is called high vapor pressure. This phenomena often occur not only in the case of HVPC, but also in the case of gasoline, overheated crude oil or crude oil loaded in the Arabian Gulf in the winter season and discharge in the tropical zone. Limitation Cargo oil at RVP of 1.12 kg per square centimeter that is 16 psi cannot be carried by general tankers. Precaution in handling of high crude vapor. So tank selection. Before we uh, start loading, we have to prepare loading plan. So use of few large capacity tanks rather than many small tanks. The wise will be select tank relatively close to the pump room to minimize friction lost through the pipe. Arrange stowage plan with using slope tank. Precaution at sea. Accordingly, measures should be taken to prevent vapor loss. Precaution at discharging. This type of cargo causes cavitation because of vapor vaporization in the cargo pumps and special care is required. Sufficient trim should be maintained at the time of stripping. That's not only for the uh, that kind of cargo but uh, all other liquids. Tank with sufficient gravity head of cargo should be retained only until the last stage of cargo discharge in order to bleed cargo pumps of gas or air generated by the occurrence cavitation or other causes. Careful watch on the measuring instruments may be effective for taking adequate steps to prevent cavitation. When the oil level has lowered, the suction pressure of the cargo pump should be monitored. Pump RPM reduced or delivery valve throttled to prevent cavitation. When the cargo discharge rate per hour reduced drastically, cargo discharge should be carried by changing over from main pump to self-stripping system or adductor with ample time to go. A pump which started suffering cavitation has to be restored by priming from the tank with a sufficient head. But if recovery is considered to take a long time, it is recommendable to switch to another option of discharging. Pressurizing tank by means of inert gas is effective to prevent vapor lock. 
since it apparently rises to the suction half of the pump. See you guys on my next presentation and bye bye. So if you like that, please subscribe my channel.